So CAD Fusion has five main functional areas, uh, which I'm now going to talk you through. To start with, we'll look at uh, importing a shaft using CAD Fusion. So CAD Fusion is able to import models from virtually any standard CAD package. The model can be manipulated and it can be edited and repaired if necessary using advanced modeling functionality. Shaft components can be selected and a 2D profile extracted which will be used to create the Romax Timoshenko beam model. Fatigue features can either be removed or the program will identify them and include them in the model whilst shaft section lengths and diameters are automatically inferred uh, from the CAD model. Once imported into Romax Designer, the model is now fully parametric and positioned in 3D space. This process can then be repeated for the other shafts in the model. Not all of our users work in 3D CAD, especially at the concept stage. Importing 2D models is an entirely different proposition as we're not working with distinct 3D bodies, so the challenge is how to automatically make sense of the intersecting lines and multiple axes. CAD Fusion is able to identify the most likely path of a shaft profile whilst allowing the user to quickly override any incorrect decisions. Multiple axes can be handled by simply selecting a new axis with which to associate some of the shaft profiles. Once all the profiles have been identified, shaft sections and features are identified in the same way as for 3D models and the shafts imported and positioned within the Raymax model. Whilst geometry import is perhaps the most important aspect of CAD Fusion, another incredibly useful capability is being able to export modified Romax geometry back into CAD. The user can choose to export all or part of the model and specify the required level of detail. The exported model can contain a detailed geometry of shafts, gears, bearings and housings and can be saved in a number of standard formats. Whilst for consistency, the structure of the model replicates that of the Romax model tree, allowing easy identification and interaction with components. One area of the CAD import-export functionality that requires further explanation is the handling of detailed gear geometry. CAD models typically don't contain the required information to define a, a Romax detailed gear, so instead we offer the ability to import data from a neutral file format. The vast amounts of data required to define all of the gear sets within the model can be quickly imported, replacing the time-consuming and error-prone manual data entry process previously required. In terms of exporting gear geometry from Romax Designer, as well as the 3D solid model export previously shown, the detailed parameters defining the precise geometry of the gear can also be exported in a form that allows the rapid creation of manufacturing drawings. In addition to the macro geometry of each gear, the micro geometry of each flank can also be exported. This includes the details of the gear envelope and of the lead slope and finally information relating to their tolerances. As well as the creation of 3D geometry and 2D drawings, users can select to export customizable tab tables of data which can be included on their manufacturing drawings. So a complete set of gear data and drawings can be exported which can then be assembled in CAD Fusion or other CAD packages to vastly reduce the time taken to create a final manufacturing drawing. So hopefully that's given a, a brief flavour of what CAD Fusion is capable of. In terms of benefits to our customers, it provides a high degree of interoperability between uh, Romax software between CAD and between gear design applications. Um, this leads to reduced modeling time in CAD and Romax Designer, whilst also improving model accuracy and also the communication between development teams. This enables Romax software to be used as part of an integrated transmission design process as part of a right first time strategy. Mm -hmm.